Hi, this is Renee. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page with WordPress and Thrive Content Builder. It is super easy and I love this tool so much. If you're working in the digital space, whether it be blogging or with a website, eventually you're going to have a need for a landing page. Over the years, I have coded landing pages by hand. I have used the landing pages that come with themes and I have tried various WordPress plugins for landing pages. Finally, I found what I believe to be the best tool for building landing pages on WordPress. That tool is Thrive Content Builder. Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily you can build a landing page with Thrive Content Builder and WordPress. This is going to be a lot easier than you could have ever dreamed, I promise. So here's what you're going to need. A self-hosted -work, um, WordPress blog and Thrive Content Builder. Now, Thrive Content Builder is a premium theme. I'll have my affiliate link for this down in the bottom. And if you haven't purchased, I'd appreciate it if you use that link. All right, so with that said, let's freaking get down to it, shall we? All right, so you'll log into your WordPress blog. You're at your dashboard. You click on their pages and say, add new. All right, so let's give it a name. Let's call it tested and save draft. That's very important. You have to save draft before you click on edit with Thrive Content Builder. All right. So once you hit save draft, click on edit with Thrive Content Builder. The hardest part of building a landing page is choosing your template because they have so many different choices. So right now it just looks like a blank page, right? So click on Thrive Landing Pages, choose landing page. Now they, the great thing about Thrive, one of the great things, there's so many good things, but is that they're constantly updating their plugin. It's a one-time fee, or you can pay a yearly fee to get the maintenance and things like that, whatever you want. It's totally up to you, but they're always updating their landing pages with new ones. As you can see, as I'm scrolling through here and talking to you, there's a ton of um, templates already in here. And I'm just always amazed at how many more they're adding. So to me, that's one of the reasons to go ahead and pay year after year is just to get the more stuff, but that's totally up to you. Maybe you have everything you need in the first year and you're good. So there you go. So I'm going to create a sales page here. If you notice over here on the left, there's all these different, they've broken it down for you by type, you know, coming soon. I, which currently have been using that on one of my sites, confirmation page, product launch, video sales page is the most popular. So we'll make one of those, but let me show you one more thing. If you notice, some of these landing pages look kind of the same because they have done templates for you of design. So like here, video course, I recently did a video course on how to create a WordPress blog from beginning to end. And so I used this template. It looked really nice. I was very pleased. So for all of the pages that were associated to that course, I used this design and just made it to the colors and stuff that I needed. All right. So as you can see, they do that a lot. Here you go. There's another one, the lime. And this one, all right, so with that said, let's click on sales page because I told you I'd try to make this fast. And let's pick, uh, let's pick this one, author lead generation. I don't even know what that's about yet, but I'm going to select it. I know it's selected because of the little check mark. I scroll down, I click on load landing page, give it a moment to do its magic. Check that out. Isn't that pretty awesome looking? Holy crap, that looks so nice already. Let's preview it just so you can get an idea because this is the cool thing about um, Thrive Content Builder. It's it's a whiz, true WYSIWYG. It's the only true WYSIWYG I've ever seen. This page looks exactly like the page that I'm editing. So look at that again. This is the page that I will be editing. This is the preview of the page. They're exactly the same. The only difference if you notice, are these little boxes that tell you where things are and what to click on. So let's start. Let's say that we want to edit this image right here, this background image, right? This image of her. Let me close this so you can see what just happened. I just click on that image, click on her face, and background image. Well, maybe I have a background image that I would like to upload, or maybe instead of a background image, I would like to do a color like that. See how that immediately changed to black? Maybe I want it to be green. Maybe I want it to be blue. You see what's happening there? As I drag that around, it's changing that background 
and getting rid of her. So let's see. Let's just say we're going to make it green. I like green. Alrighty. I can click that little X. Save changes. Now we have a green background instead of the image. I could do a background pattern by, let me close this again, show you how simple this is. I'm going to click in the background. It's going to pop that up. And look at all these preloaded backgrounds. Check that out. That's nice and clean looking, right? Because here's the thing. While this said an author landing page, I could change this into the, about a book. I could say, get my book. And here's, here's what's cool. So I, I want to say it says Jane Doe right now. Let's just say I just select it on the text. And if you notice, this little um, window here popped up. And this looks just like the editing on a pa WordPress page or post, right? You should recognize all of this. There are a couple of extra things, which is nice. You've got margins and padding, which you don't normally have. You have to hard code that. But I could change the, the spacing there. Let's put in. And you notice how that jumped? Did you catch that? Let me show you. Watch Jane closely. Yeah, that's really impressive stuff. Now, again, I, in other videos, I'll get into all of these kind of things in detail. But I wanted to show you, if you're in a hurry to create a landing page, this is your go-to tool. Because now, the most difficult part of any landing page is figuring out what you want it to say. You can, you can say, hey, you know, I don't want this section here. You could just click on that X and it will go away. If you said, oh no, I didn't mean to do that, just click the undo button. Again, if I want this section to go away, this whole section, I can make sure the red box is highlighted and I can click on the X. Or you could say, I really like this section, but I have more than four things to say. Well, duplicate it. And then you scroll down right here, you get rid of that, and check that out. Now I have eight. Isn't that amazing? It's truly a spectacular plugin. So let's say that I've edited all my text. But again, just click on it, highlight it, start typing. There you go. Oh, I need to change this image to my book. Click on the book and where it says change image right there. Guess what you do? We'll bring in MailChimp guy just so I can show you. I've selected him, insert into post save changes. Okay, so let's say that everything in here is exactly like I wanted it, all right? Everything. I have spent the time. I've written some great content. Don't you guys think? Seriously, amazing. Oh, but I forgot to link my book. So I need my link. All I do is click on this button and link settings. Right there is the URL. I can say for it to open a new window. That's very handy. I can even change what the button says. Buy this darn thing. Click on that. Check that out. Ah, you know what? I don't like the button being yellow, so let me just click on blue. You see what I'm ha happening there? I'm just changing all kinds of things. Check that out. Let's make it red. You like the red? All right, good. All right, so let's say that I have the most amazing landing page that I can possibly build with all the right words. I just hit Save Changes, close this tab, and I go back to the page, this page, right? Now at this point, I could, you know, do my SEO, all of the normal things that I do. This area looks blank, which is going to freak you out, but it's okay. So all you have to do is hit publish. Close that sample that I was showing you. Now I'm going to open up my link. And look at that. I have a landing page that looks beautiful. All right. So as you can see, there's lots of time that you can spend. Let's go right back into it again. Let's say that I looked at that and I'm like, you know, it's just not right. It's just not right. That's okay. 
Just click on Edit with Thrive Content Builder. Start editing whatever it is you think is wrong. I think that's the wrong pattern. I really want this blue. Okay, no problem. Save changes and go back to your page. Opens up a new tab and your changes were saved. The reason that I showed you that is that you don't have to go back into the page and update every single time. Once the page is published, whatever you did on Thrive Content Builder will be published to the world. So that is an important thing to keep in mind is once you have published the page, if you are live updating and somebody's on that page, they're gonna see those live updates. So I have done this in the past and just a little tip, I was live updating while somebody was looking at a page and I just actually put a note on the page that says, hey, this is gonna be freaky, but just know that I'm live updating this page. Then I removed the, the note. So that's just you know a little funny that I did once. But anyway, that's it. This is such an easy tool to use. It's very, very powerful. I hope that you use it. If you have any questions about Thrive Content Builder or the Thrive products, please let me know. You can contact me through my um, YouTube or Twitter at iteachblogging, or you can email me at renee at iteachblogging.com. Thank you so much and blog on.